The new Duchess of Sussex has pulled a fast one in her new mission to change the world. Meghan Markle says she's so excited to go straight to work in her new role as a model for feminists across the world. The upcoming event that put the royal honeymoon on hold, which the new duchess has labeled as work, will blow your mind. The new duchess of Sussex has wasted no time spinning her first PR coup as she paints herself as a tireless, selfless, dedicated new royal who will forego her honeymoon to get straight to work. Over the last few days, rumors that Prince Harry and Meghan's honeymoon plans were being kept secret has now evolved into the line, Meghan's going straight to work, taking on official duties for the people. Many wondered what that meant. So, the new Duke and Duchess of Sussex put their honeymoon plans on hold to embark on their new mission to save the world. That's how it was being reported in many news outlets late last night. No honeymoon for newlyweds Harry and Meghan, they're straight back to work, reported The Guardian late yesterday afternoon. Reporters were gushing over the new royal couple's amazing stamina and work ethic to plunge right into official duties, depriving themselves of their honeymoon. So, what is the big humanitarian event Meghan will be toiling at? The Mirror reveals, on Tuesday the couple will join Charles and Camilla on the lawns of Buckingham Palace for a Prince of Wales 70th birthday patronage celebration. They add, after a day that saw the couple seal their union with a kiss, process through Windsor in a carriage and experience a moving wedding reception speech in their honour from the Prince of Wales, they are expected to travel home to take up royal duties. Yep, there you have it. The strain of those official duties, Aka party going, seem so overwhelming, you wonder how do they do it? Yes, I'm being sarcastic. There is no doubt Meghan's PR experience in spinning herself in the press is taking precedence inside Kensington Palace. The media outlets all having the same line, going straight back to work says this was the Duchess of Sussex's PR move. Meghan has spoken about wanting to hit the ground running in her big humanitarian mission as a social justice warrior and feminist. The problem is, her new resume on the official palace site seems a tad over the top and embellished. Instead of detailing her real life's work as an actress, which she has been doing full-time since 2002, the royal website paints her as a mix of Mother Teresa and Gloria Steinem. Page Six reports, the newly anointed Duchess of Sussex has a new bio up on the royal family website, and it barely mentions her 15-year acting career, focusing instead on her charity and activism work. Page 6 adds, it details her interest in feminism, which started when she was 11, and successfully campaigned to change a Procter & Gamble TV ad for ivory dish soap that used sexist language. It also mentions that she volunteered in a soup kitchen on Skid Row in her native Los Angeles between the ages of 13 and 17. The Skid Row gig coincides with her years at Immaculate Heart High School, where every student must volunteer to do charity work as part of their graduation credits. In other words, it's not an option. We aren't implying her work in the soup kitchen wasn't noble, we are just putting it in perspective. You have to click the second biography page on the royal website to read up on her work on Suits, a show she was on for seven years, filming 100 episodes until giving up her role to marry Prince Harry. The truth is, the new duchess didn't really start her adult activism until around the time she entered Prince Harry's orbit through her Canadian contacts, and it was seen as a calculated move to nab Princess Diana's son. 
Duchess Meghan's closest friend of 31 years, Nikki Pretty, said, All I can say now is that I think Meghan was calculated, very calculated, in the way she handled people and relationships. She is very strategic in the way she cultivates circles of friends. Once she decides you're not part of her life, she can be very cold. Of course, Pretty recalls Meghan's vows to Engelson as her maid of honor. Meghan told her first husband, You are my forever love, I cannot imagine life without you. Ms. Pretty remains extremely hurt and baffled by Meghan ending their 31 year friendship. They met at age six and were inseparable until Meghan left for Canada to film Suits. When Meghan decided to divorce Trevor Anglison, she divorced her entire former life, including Nikki Pretty. Meghan called Nikki Pretty one last time just to tell her she was getting divorced and that she might see it in the papers. Nikki said, I tried to get details from her, but she wouldn't tell me. What came to light after Trevor and I spoke ended my friendship with Meghan. Meghan then completely reinvented herself in Canada and never spoke to her childhood friend again. Within two months after separating from Anglison, she was already dating and quickly living with celebrity chef Corey Vitiello. Many say she was still involved with Vitiello when she met Prince Harry, but the Canadian chef is too much of a gentleman to comment. Getting back to the royal website, in large bold font on the new Duchess of Sussex page, it quotes her as saying, I am proud to be a woman and a feminist. Yet, during her unorthodox royal wedding speech, she gushed, I have found my prince. However, she demanded the vow to obey, be excluded from her wedding vows to Prince Harry. The question for Meghan is this, what woman isn't a feminist in the traditional sense? But, those feminists, like the new Duchess of Sussex, who have to scream in big bold letters, I am proud to be a woman and a feminist, are rabid leftist activists hellbent on supporting abortion up to nine months and who buy into this myth about the white patriarchy keeping them down. Whoever is running Kensington Palace better grow a backbone. Meghan Markle now has reinvented herself for the second time in her life, this time as the Duchess of Sussex. Someone needs to explain to her that being a member of the British royal family is about obeying the monarch, it's not an acting gig. It's about service to others through charities and not the seeking of the limelight wherever she goes.